Get linked. I know it just makes it hard to find his content yeah. or, or to have to be able to get his content if if you're not a serious guy. It it'll be on uh, it'll be on YouTube. Um, but I think yeah, within you're the right. next somebody week. Will, somebody will share it out on YouTube. Well, not even that. Like from his official account, they they typically put that stuff out like a week later. Oh, do they? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, I'm it's just good stuff. On YouTube a lot. So yeah, it's uh, it'll be on YouTube. It'll be good stuff. So. Uh, it, for Michael, if he's still watching, by the way, I accidentally blocked him. <laughs> I don't know how I did it, uh, but I blocked him from the comments. I don't know how that happened, but I'm, I'll fix it. I will get it fixed either way. Uh, last topic I wanted to hit on. You brought this up to me. I didn't even know it was happening. The last four years Masters final rounds are going to be shown on CBS. What What do you know about this? Well, no, no, no. This isn't the last four years Masters. The last four. No, no this is this – is, no, I actually wanted to spend some time on this. I don't know how much, how long you want to go. Let, or let's, not, let's just roll. I wanted talk to spend to some time on this. Yeah, talk, right? talk to me about it. Tell me. Today's Masters was 86. Today, ESPN. Oh. So ESPN normally has the par three Thursday and Friday. CBS has Saturday, Sunday. So ESPN is doing three days of Masters coverage. CBS is doing three days, uh, two days of Masters coverage, and they're doing old final rounds. Today's at started at two o'clock um, Central Time was Jack Nicholas's final Masters win, nineteen eighty six. Jack Nicholas beats Greg Norman by one stroke, finishes with minus nine. That was his last Masters. That was his last major win. So if you want to rewatch some of these tomorrow, one p.m. This is the Lord's time. Okay, we work on Central Standard Time. <laughs> God's okay. time zone. That's right. That's right. All you East Coast elite out there, y'all going to move over. Um, <laughs> 2012's master at 1 o'clock. This is Tiger Woods' first master's win. And this is his most dominating win, I can imagine. Tiger finishes minus 18 to Tom Kite, minus 6. Good gracious. He just I blew that. away the field. Yeah. Blew away the just complete domination the very next day you know he gives the interview or whatever he says hello world and then you see the, all these nike commercials come out about him introduce himself to the world if you can't do the daytime thing tomorrow night 6 30 p.m you're gonna get um oh no i'm wrong the afternoon one is bubba watson's bubba watson's masters win minus 10 he goes into a tiebreaker with louis Hazen. that 1997 starts at 6 30 p.m tomorrow okay okay so, so everybody can watch it that's prime time friday you get 2013's masters in the afternoon that's uh, adam scott's win against the afternoon the evening sorry is 2005's tiger woods another masters win this one is where he goes into a playoff uh, against chris demarco to win that one um, some of these are significant, which is why I wanted to wanted to kind of run by them, and I'm, I'm going as quick as I can. Are Saturday, you, you get into CBS. You get Jack Nicholson, Nicholas's 1997, uh, 1975, sorry, Masters at uh, 1230. Um, that's one where he beats out Johnny Miller, and uh, great, great, great opportunity. 2004 at 130 is Phil Mickelson's first Master win, and this was also Phil's year that he won the U.S. Open. His, okay. His, uh, so that's, that's probably his best season. Uh, best, full, year. best majors year. Yeah, best. Well, it was probably his best year in golf is when he yeah. was on top of the world. He beats out Ernie Elms in this Masters. Uh, and then they finish it off Sunday afternoon with the final round from last year where Tiger has his massive comeback to, to take off two, you know, two of the best golfers young golfers in the world of Brooks Kepka and Dustin Johnson and, and beat them. So yeah. That's I, I'm, I'm, I am fired up about getting final rounds, master coverage. I know that I've seen these things. I know who's going to win. I know the collapses that happen. I know the surges that happen. I remember them. The, the older ones I remember because I, I was just raised watching a lot of golf by golf guys. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's, and I don't know. It's just something that I'm excited. We're not getting the Masters as normal, and so I'm 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 very grateful that we'll get to see to see this. Oh, I I am too. Uh, Joseph Gomez jumped in on YouTube. Said Tiger Woods with the 20 inch arm uh, years walking around like 240, uh, walking around at 240 like he was LeBron with a good club. Like that's I, right. Yeah, that's right. 100. Yeah. No, Tigers. Yeah, Tigers. 2005. 
yeah, he's as swole as he could be. Yes. I just, That's when he's training with seals and stuff, I think. Yeah. I, <laughs> that article about him training with uh, all the different things that he was doing at that time was just bonkers. Just by, But at, at some point, I mean, you got to find something to kind of keep you going, right? So, yeah. So anyway, I, uh, just just really cool situations and uh, just stuff on TV. Sports is on TV. Yeah. This is what I wished these guys would be doing. I was going to mention that. This is what you want instead of simulations, instead of the NBA playing yes, horse and whatever. Give me give me older stuff. Yes, you can't get it. Okay, you can't, you can't bet on it. You know what? If you want to get sports back, a lot of what's going to take sports coming back and these guys trying these island things or these going to a city and taking over in the middle of nowhere things is money. And if the casinos want the money, if the sports books want the money coming in on it, then they need to help offset it. Yeah. They need to call these places and say, what is it going to take? What are you needing? Yeah. Do you what do you need? Housing? And, do you need fields built? Do you need we this? Will do you need that? We'll pay for it. And you don't even have to put as a, as a sponsorship because most of these places don't want these guys as sponsors. If you're the NFL, you don't want these guys as sponsors. That's fine. That's okay. We, you don't have to put our name anywhere. We just need the action. Yeah. I, I agree. I agree 100%. Ah, oh, what a day. What a day. We're going to have Lynn Simon on tomorrow. We're going to talk some baseball with him. Uh, Excited about that. Yeah, I, I can't wait to uh, – I want to hear about his uh, his thoughts on what is going on with Major League Baseball and the idea of, you know, starting up in Arizona at, just in a quarantined, uh, isolated area. I want to hear what he says about that. Uh, I want to hear his thoughts about, you know, he's a, a minor league team owner. I, I want to hear – what they like, how they operate, everything yeah. else. So we'll we'll talk to him about that. We'll talk to him about the uh, the idea of college football. You know, changing the way that the season goes. Obviously, he is involved uh, heavily with the NCPA. Um, you know, we'll talk about the players, whether or not the players even want to come back and play. You know, if it's not going to be like it normally would be, why would they want to play? Like, I, I don't know. It's, I, I can't wait to have that discussion. It's going to be a good time. We thank uh, Mike Glenn for hopping on today. He is always an entertaining listener. If you forgot or or didn't get in for the early part of the show, make sure you go back and listen to that on the podcast. Make sure you are subscribed. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, etc. Uh, the show is live every day around 4.30 or so. Sometimes it's 4.45, but typically 4.30. If it's going to be earlier, we'll do our best to, our best to, uh, to let you know. But uh, yeah, today was a good one. I can't wait for tomorrow as well. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share the show out. Leave a nice review. And uh, <laughs> and to close it off, Joseph Gomez said, Desperate times, Nicaraguan and Belarus, or Belarus soccer is not doing it for me. Uh, we feel you. We feel you 100%. So we appreciate everybody tuning in today. We appreciate Matt and Michael and Joseph and all the others that jumped in on the feed for uh, commenting and whatnot. We will see you all again tomorrow. Uh, Chris, is there anything we need to hit before we head out? That's it. All right. We appreciate you guys. We will talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite.